Looking at the World Press Photo Exhibition here at the Brisbane Powerhouse, it's easy to believe that the camera is a much more powerful technology than the computer. At the University of Queensland, the coming generation of visual journalists are learning how to tell stories with pictures. And more importantly, they are learning from each other. The syndicate process works on the basis that the class is split up into three groups and we regularly stick with the groups we've been assigned to and from that we're able to see people's work regularly, the same uh, bunch of work the whole time and that way we develop uh, an understanding of what this person is trying to do visually with their project and we can give them criticism. For the first half of a two hour workshop we divide them into their syndicates, they, they pin their work up or they project their video work um, and the syndicate will we'll go through each body of work. They'll run through a very clear, very formal process of, of doing a kind of quick edit. They discuss it, they talk about what the gaps are, what the reshoots might be, put it into some sort of linear edit. And so by the end of the first hour, it's important that every member of that syndicate who's got work uh, up that week has a chance to have that work discussed and, and put into some kind of edit. Then in the second half of, of the workshop session, we reconvene as, as a, the full group and then we'll go around the room and we'll discuss specific work. Initially when the course started up, it was lots of people didn't know each other. So being mingled in little groups made them, you know, sort of get closer to each other pretty quickly. Then they worked on the level that people, everyone's work got seen on a very sort of regular basis, which because this, the groups themselves, the tutorial groups themselves were quite large at points, otherwise that wouldn't have happened so well. I also think that they're a really great educational tool in terms of people actually taking on individuals within the syndicates taking on sort of like a, a little bit of a leadership role. The other members of the syndicate um, contributed to my work in that I am so involved in the, the process and the development of my animation that I'm not allowed, able to see it objectively. So they were able to give me some objective comments and um, help me to see if I was achieving my goals that is, to make the audience feel a certain way and to make them think a certain thing. If you can establish what you want from an audience in terms of what you want them to know, in terms of what you want them to feel, it's actually very easy to work backwards from that. And a lot of those decisions that can seem a bit daunting to people who aren't used to working in the visual can actually become quite rational. I find that quite chaotic, the concept, but to begin with it's quite calm. I'm not sure if you were trying to achieve that, but this to me is a bit of the preparation for the excitement that happens later. The syndicate system um, encourages honesty and it encourages you to say what you feel about something. I think the syndicate's the most useful as a sort of test audience because like, you don't, um, even if they can't pick up the more technical things that the tutors or something could like, oh, there's a problem with lighting or focus or whatever, they can basically tell you if the whole message is coming through. Oh, I showed it to my parents, um, but they kind of always think that anything I do is good. So they're not <laughs> a very, they're not the most objective audience. So it's good to come here and have people kind of say, oh, that photo for me isn't important enough to include. My project is on the Dunham Park Cemetery and um, with the recent construction work on the Bogger Road freeway and um, I've been looking at the cemetery with the construction work in the background as well as the dichotomy between the quiet of the cemetery and the um, raging traffic outside and I've put that all together in one body of work to ask a couple of questions on the way we live. I think there were some pretty big holes in my story, in my animation. Guatemala 2008. I was a volunteer and I wasn't quite aware of them because in my mind 
because I'm involved in the process. I thought it all made sense, but there were some significant gaps and working with the syndicate helped me to bridge those gaps. I do think that students have actually found that maybe in the beginning it was a slightly challenging to have their peers assess their work basically within the syndicates because they're not really used to that. However, as the semester evolved, they got better and better at and they actually got really, really good at sort of handling that situation and giving feedback to others, receiving feedback at the same time. One of the attributes we want the graduates of this course to take away with them is the ability to articulate the, the process of visual narrative construction and visual form. And I think the syndicate really helps that because not only are they working at creating visual narrative, but when, as they discuss that with their syndicate, they're put very much in a position where they need to be able to articulate that. 